السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين أما بعد uh, Dear brothers and sisters the honored ulama and scholars of the Quran parents, students brothers and sisters everyone who came here tonight to witness this beautiful event historic and beautiful all of you, I congratulate you. Everyone here tonight is a winner. And alhamdulillah, we are part of that winning team, inshallah. As the brother announced, my name is Yusuf Abdullah. I'm the executive director of Ayana, Islamic Association of North America, which consists of 40 Islamic centuries in the United States. 15 of them are here in the state of Minnesota. Ayana stands for the unity in collaboration among Muslims, it is the largest African descent organization, Muslim organization in the United States. So Alhamdulillah, a lot of our Islamic centers here in the United States are part of almost every Quran competition that happens in the United States and many times outside of the United States. Alhamdulillah. And this is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, in another way, tonight, we're all welcoming, congratulating, supporting, working with Markazu Tipian, which is a parcel and a part of this Muslim community, beautiful Muslim community, which is growing in size and in quality both. Alhamdulillah, today we are witnessing a historic moment which is an international Quran competition in the United States. Who would have thought about that in a few years? Who would ever think about the Quranic competition, international level, where many representatives are coming from many Muslim countries to this state and competing on many ways of recitation of the Qur'an. This is a turning point for this Ummah and for the humanity as well. And this is according to the hadith of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam This matter, which means Islam, will reach wherever night, day and night reaches. It means wherever sun rises, Islam will get there. And here we are. We're, we're witnessing that. History is being made here. This is not something light. This is huge and historical. And it will have a great impact for the generations to come. Second point I would like to make tonight is this will make our young ones proud of their deen of their faith, of their identity, of their values, and of who they are. And that's what we need today. Today we need young ones who are ambitious, who are driven, who have values, and who are looking forward to greater achievements in this world. This is the history that we, we as Muslims making in this country. We build mosques, Islamic centers. In 1992, there were only two mosques, masjids, in the state of Minnesota. Today, there are more than 100 Islamic centers, big and small, in the, only in the state of Minnesota. So you can tell Islam is growing, and we are witnessing that, and we are part of that. We should be proud of it, and we should move, move forward to it. So tonight I would like also to congratulate our judges, our shayukh, scholars who came from so many different areas to be part of this and to participate and to support and encourage our young ones. I would like to congratulate our Sheikh Shah Abdul Nasir, my friend, my teacher, Shah Abdul Nasir Farah, who always 
had that ambition of raising the flag of the Quran in a place where Quran used to be strange. Today, the Quran is not strange because of him and the likes of him. And to the students of that great institution of Atibian Islamic Center, which these students that I taught, that I know them, that I met them, that I worked with, Alhamdulillah, I am hopeful that they will, they will make a lot of changes into their environment and they will raise the flag in Islam, of Islam in this part of the world. The parents of Tibian, the parents of the students who are competing, I would also congratulate, would like to congratulate them as well. And finally, the guests, so many students who came from different parts of the world to witness this and to be a part of this competition, please welcome and congratulations. And we wish you the best, even if you win against the United States and against Minnesota, we are still winners and we will welcome you. And I would like to conclude, inshallah, there will be Ayana, there is Ayana annual convention on September 3rd, which, in which we will have so many programs for the Muslim community here in the, in the state of Minnesota. And in that convention or Mu'tamar, we are, we already included an Islamic studies competition, which we want to be parallel to this and also raise the, the, the flag of Islamic knowledge here in the United States. I invite all of you to come and join us on September 3rd at the convention, Minneapolis Convention Center here in the state of Minnesota in the city of Minneapolis. Jazakumullah khairan. All of you welcome and congratulations. Barakallah fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.